Hi there and welcome to today's uh, session with our trigger ball pilates and we're going to be focusing today on the uh, hip lower back region so once again with your balls if this is your first time uh, with uh, trigger balls then the tennis ball is the uh, best way to get started it's softer it's smoother uh, so there's going to be less discomfort but if you have experience then of course you may be aware of the spiky balls so f use whichever one you feel comfortable with and then grab your mat and we shall make our way down so with this you can use two but for today we're just going to work one side and then all you need to do is repeat on the other side so we're going to apply our ball to the um, kind of lower back hip region so we want to position so we are below the hip bone so all you've got to do is find your hip bones and we're just taking the ball just below it and as you place the ball you'll feel it's muscular you won't feel any bone in that area and that's where we're going to be looking placing the ball. Once we lay on our back we can adjust and uh, find the trigger point where we are going to manipulate and help release that tension. So we're going to work on my case on my right. So what I find the best way to do is take the ball or two if you're going to work both together and just raise yourself into a bridge. So just lift the back off the floor, find your two hip bones, take your ball or two and just find that area and then once you think you've got the spot, you just lower your back gently down and you'll feel the ball just compress into wherever you're carrying the most knots and tension. So, if you want to play, just to adjust, just move the ball very slightly in or out, and where you feel a slight discomfort, then you've hit the spot. If it's really painful, avoid. And if you get a sharp shooting pain, then avoid that as well. There needs to be a form of muscular discomfort, as you can feel the ball releasing the knot. So I found my spot. Hopefully you found yours as well. So if you're using just the one ball, you're gonna be a little bit off balance. So it'll feel a little bit uh, awkward to start with. So for the moment, you just wanna relax, you wanna breathe. And just allow that ball just to sink in. Now, once the ball is in place, and we are ready. We're gonna take that right leg and bring it with our left leg. I'm gonna just take the arms wide. And then as we're working one side, just slowly take, in my case, the right leg. And I'm just very slowly dropping the hip down the left side is completely still and as I start to drop you're going to feel the ball just press a little bit further so only come down until it's enough for you if it's too painful don't go any further just going to hold it there and then after maybe five ten seconds no more than that we hold we're going to take this right leg and I'm slowly going to extend. Now I don't want to extend the leg straight in front, I'm going to extend the leg at an angle. So I'm just going to bring the leg, keep it close to the floor and straighten it out at about 45 degrees because I'll feel that. And you'll hit a nice, and what most of you will have is a really tight spot. So as that right leg is coming out, that left leg, again, we keep completely still. If it's too painful, you raise the leg, 
if you bring it closer to the floor, it becomes a little bit more uncomfortable. We're gonna slide the right leg back in. Bring our legs back together. Come back to where we started and do it again. So exhale slowly. Then take the leg out. Bring the leg back in. And then this time I'm taking that right leg, I'm holding the leg and I'm bringing the knee into the chest. And I'm taking the head forward and I'm just rolling myself into a ball. Putting that leg back down. And then taking the right leg and extend. And then just taking the leg out. I'm just then going to bring the leg forward and just start to circle the leg round. Circles don't have to be big, but we need to take the leg out and get a nice compression into that area. Just release the knot, release the tension in that lower back. So I'm just going to do four or five circles with the leg. And then after that, I come in and hug the leg. Take the arms back out wide, bring the legs back together in that semi supine position. And this time I'm going to drop them both. So both legs will now drop very slowly. It's going to be quite uncomfortable. So exhale as you come down. And let's go very slow so you don't make it too excruciating. Just enough for you. And it's got to feel, in a sense, good. Like you can really feel yourself releasing the tension. Make your way up. We'll go one more time. So we'll bring the knees up. Just release a little bit of pressure. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You don't have to go far, especially if you're putting the lower back. And then we come up. And then you can just remove the ball and give yourself a moment to relax and release and again if you've got one ball you can then do the other side and i hope this really helps i hope it releases some tension from your lower back and from your hip so until next time take care of yourself stay in good health and i'll see you soon